What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and welcome, but I did a thing. I, okay, so if you saw in my last video or a couple videos ago when we had dead the fireplace, you would have saw that we had a dark leather couch. And when we moved into this place, we got the leather couch because we have three dogs and two kids and we just, we didn't want to have to worry. But no matter what I did, and I'm obsessed with home decor and making my house feel like a home and just so cozy, I guess you would say. Um, and I really did love that leather couch, but it was just not the vibes for this house. Sorry if you hear those little nails pitter pattering on the floor. I cannot keep my dogs in one spot, but anyways, I just knew I didn't love it for this space. So good old Facebook marketplace, I listed it and I was like, if it sells, then it's meant to be. Well, it sold in less than a week. So we sold the leather couch and now we're on the hunt for a light colored couch. Now me and my husband keep going back and forth. He still thinks we need leather, maybe just a different color. I, on the other hand, think that I need to try a good fabric couch to really see and make my dreams of my living room come true. So that's what we have here. I went online to Pottery Barn because you can order tons of free swatches. I think you can actually order 12 of them at a time. So that's what I did. I maxed it out and I ordered 12 swatches that I feel like would be what I would want in my space. And I was gonna test them. So Pottery Barn claims that they have high performance fabrics where no matter if you have kids, dogs, whatever the case may be, that they won't get messed up. So we're gonna test that here today. And then if I love one, then we will, oh, see they're already so pretty. Like, look at these. I, uh, I'm so glad I sold my couch, but if we love one, I am going to splurge and I'm going to place the order because I just need this space to feel what I want it to feel like. All right. So let's do a quick rundown of the fabrics that I love really quick. So you can see them kind of up close. And then these were the ones that I did not. Obviously, these ones are like way too light. This one I was telling you guys about, I really love this like so, so much. But I just know that with my dogs and their nails and I just know that it won't work out. But I think if you don't have dogs or kids, this one would be stunning. This is the... Um, all of the information on it. So this is what we came up with. Although I'm about to eliminate this one right off the bat because I just think it's gonna be too dark. Although with my floors, see it kind of like matches way too much, but I do feel like it is really pretty. So maybe I can do this one for, oh wait, that's what I had wanted to do. No wonder why I loved it so much. I wanted to do this one for um, my linens one day because if you saw, I have linens that are kind of like this, but they're from Amazon, which they're great. Once they aren't any good, then I'll do that one. So there's this one, which I like. It's the alabaster white. This one I really like too. It's the performance tweed in ivory. And then, ooh, this one was one of my favorites. It just feels so cozy and just like you just want to cuddle up with a blanket. It is the Performance Chanel in Ivory. Oh, this one I am obsessed with. I think this one so far is my favorite. This one I really like too. I like it because it has such a high performance to it, but um, it feels kind of rough, kind of like outdoor furniture. So that's why I'm kind of like on the fence about it. This one, looking at it from the, this one just looks too white. So I'm gonna add that back to that pile. And then this one, I could already tell it's going to look like on the side. I haven't even done anything and it's just already not holding up well. So I'm going to add that one to the pile. So we'll go over here. This is my dining room and these are the cur current curtains that I have now, which I don't hate because see, they still go so beautiful with the current curtains. So... I like that. I like that a lot. Another thing that I like to do is bring it around current furniture I have in this house. So this table is also from Pottery Barn and I have it sitting behind the sofa. And I really like it 
all of this with the floors. Sure, it's going to be really light in here, but that's kind of what I want because this room doesn't get a ton of light. It gets good, pretty natural light, but not tons. And so I plan to like warm it up with like woods like this. Um, okay, so, so far these three are still working. All right, you guys. So these are my three favorite swatches right here. And this is the test that I'm going to do. I'm going to do scissors, which is going to act as one scissors and then also dog's nails and then a marker and a pen. I'll do ketchup because they're kids and then just a liquid. So first I want to pour the liquid on to see what happens. And as you can see, the water literally just sits there. Like this right here is what kind of sold me. I went into Pottery Barn to talk to somebody and I'm like, stop. This is freaking incredible. Let me see if you guys can see it on the camera. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So the water literally just sits here. So I'm not worried if any liquid falls on here because I know that I'll just be able to dab it up just like that. So this is just incredible. Okay. And they're super dry, so they don't absorb at all mind-blowing okay the next thing I'm gonna do is just take the scissors which this might be kind of dangerous so don't judge me but this is if the dogs would be moving their nails on the couch and this is what I was worried about this one right here is my favorite but it is not holding up I'm gonna show you guys up close afterwards too and look, this one. Okay, so if you see this one, the performance heathered tweed in ivory, it doesn't even really look like I even just took scissors to it. Like it still looks pretty good. And then my favorite one, see, I'm just afraid if over time you can kind of see that it did kind of peel it up and it just looks kind of fuzzy, which this would be such a good option, I think, if you don't have any animals. And I think even with kids, this one would probably be good. And then this one, you see, you can still see all the scratch marks. So I think I already know which one I'm gonna pick, but let's just keep the test going because, you know, if you have kids, you're gonna have markers. Yogi, stop. Okay. And then we'll also do ketchup. But ketchup won't just stay like this. It's going to be like rubbed in, right? Okay. So we'll actually let the swatches sit for just a little bit because, you know, mom life, you're probably doing the dishes, doing a bunch of other things. So you're not going to be, you're, you might not see this stain right that second. So I wanted to really sit it in, just give it like a couple minutes and then we'll come back and we'll see if we can get the markers out and the ketchup and kind of then decide on our fabric so that I can place it. And at the end of the video, hopefully you guys can see me getting my dream couch. Okay. It's been about five minutes or so. And I'm gonna go in with Folex. This is what the person at Pottery Barn recommended me to use if I ordered one of these. So I'm gonna see if it works with just a paper towel because that's what I would probably grab for first is just a paper towel and some Folex. If this doesn't work, then I'll run upstairs and grab um, a towel, but let's just spray it on and see. Oh, look at that, oh my God. This ketchup smells so bad, but anything to help somebody else decide what fabric to use. So I think I am gonna have to go upstairs to get a um, towel. Okay, I am back. I'm gonna take this off of the swatched or the paper too because 
that wouldn't be there and there's just like making a bunch of mess. let them dry and then I want to show you guys what they look like when they are completely dry and we'll see if we have to go in and do a little bit more scrubbing sure I completely understand that this is a lot of work right like you don't want to have to do all of this when you have a couch you just want it to be functional for your family so yes this is a lot of work but I'm hoping that this isn't an everyday sort of thing like if it happens once a month or a couple times a month like Hopefully not a couple times a month, but you know what I mean? Like it's not an everyday sort of thing. So I'm hoping by knowing that it'll make me feel a little bit better knowing that I can actually get a stain out of the fabric. So I will see you guys back here as soon as the fabric's dry. This one that we eliminated, I scrubbed and scrubbed and I just could not get the pin out. So let me give you guys a reference so that you can know in case you're coming to this video for the same reason that I'm making it. Well, it's been a couple days and the fabrics are officially dry and you guys, they look incredible. Like just a tiny, tiny little bit. I mean, you can't even see it. So I'm having a really hard time picking because I really love this one the most, the Cozy Chanel. But I think I'm gonna go with the Heather Tweed just because when I got online, I started doing a little bit more research and it showed that the Heather Tweed um, had a contract grade, which is technically a higher grade than this one, even though this one has a higher rub count. So this rub count is 63,000 and then this one's 50, but they say anything over 15 is really good. So both of them are a pretty good option. So I think I'm going to go with this one just because it says contract grade. When we wake I decided to set my alarm early this morning so I can get downstairs before the kids wake up and start cleaning up the space for the new couch. Like clockwork every single morning, I open the blinds, I turn on the fireplace, and I head to the refrigerator and I start making my iced coffee. For the first time ever, I actually purchased a rug pad. Now this is something that I normally don't do, but moving forward, I've decided that I want to invest in really good pieces and not just buy them just to fill the space. So going forward with this couch and the rug and other pieces in my house, I wanna make sure that I'm buying quote unquote, almost forever pieces. I don't wanna just run to Target. Not that anything's wrong with that because I love a good Target run, but I wanna be able to have pieces that are of quality and that I'm going to be obsessed with in my space. So I wanted to make sure to really pick up a rug pad so that I really loved everything about this whole space. What we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in I was on the fence about this rug, but when I opened it up, I absolutely fell in love with it. You guys, now it's the moment I've been waiting for. I had the best movers. They were just so nice and so professional. They made sure that the couch was exactly where I wanted it because he obviously saw that my hands were full and didn't want me to have to do anything once they left. When they went out to the truck to go grab the next piece, me and Z had to go check out the new couch and test it out.
you guys i have my dream sofa and i could not be any more excited i just cannot wait to show you guys in five four three two one Now we just need to get to styling the pillows, get some pretty throw blankets. So I wanna bring you guys along with me while we do that. And I wanna thank you guys again so much for watching yet another video of mine. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we will see you hopefully soon when we finish those side cabinets and shelves. But I will see you guys in the next video, bye.